I'm American and I'm Swiss. I have the best of both worlds. I'm very blessed. I really think so. But one thing that the Swiss uh, do have or is known for, and other than chocolate, we talked about this hands down best chocolate in the world it's from Switzerland. Uh, anybody listening from um, Belgium and I don't even know if other nations do make chocolate. I think they do. If you think you got the best chocolate, think again. Listen, Switzerland, it's just it's just beautiful. Um, it's beautiful and the chocolate is beautiful, but something else we're known for, and there's other things, is cheese. Yes, cheese. Um, I think we have some of the best cheese. I mean, there's other nations that have great cheese. There's some Dutch cheese that's great. There's, there's some French cheese that is great. And there's American cheese that you can find probably from different farms or even from local stores that are great as well. So I'm not very picky. I just love cheese. But uh, one of those things that is labeled as Swiss cheese or even American cheese um, is a bunch of crap. Sorry, that's just what it is. So just think about the fact of you go to your local store, you get Swiss cheese and it's bland. There's nothing to it and it has some holes in it. That's, that's all about there's to say about the Swiss cheese that's labeled as Swiss cheese. And the same thing goes with American cheese because we had this conversation about, you know, holidays coming up and uh, what kind of cheese you put on your burger. And I said, I'm gonna put, normally I buy cheddar cheese. And uh, this person, my friend said, what do you mean cheddar cheese? You need to put American cheese on it. I was like, no, cheddar cheese, American cheddar cheese. What about that? And uh, this person said, no man, American cheese. But it's like, I said, listen, <laughs> that American cheese and wherever you buy it, it's just not good. And this person agreed but you still need it on your burger for whatever reason. I choose to put cheddar cheese on my burger. Maybe you can put try to put some provolone on it. Italian cheese is great, by the way. So saying all of this, um, what, why, why is it considered Swiss cheese? And why is it considered American cheese? Maybe because the cheese naturally is so not good, so not really good, um, they had to put a country name on it to make it sound better. You know, American cheese, there you go. Doesn't make it better. Swiss cheese doesn't make it better. You know, the Swiss cheese that is labeled with the holes in it is coming from the Swiss cheese. It's a Swiss cheese actually from the Emmental, which is Emmental. It's a, it's a region in Switzerland. And that cheese as a Swiss, sorry for whoever was ever watching from Switzerland, you love Emmental and cheese, good for you. I think it's one of the, like looking across the board and Swiss cheeses, I think it's the worst in the Emmentaler, unless it is, it's aged in a cave. There's some of that and that's great. But other than that, sorry. I mean, there's Gruyere, there's uh, Appenzell, there's so many different oh, local cheeses. It's <laughs> so good. Please don't go from the traditional Swiss Emmentaler cheese. This is what, what I'm saying. But you know, I will have to say that the Swiss are smart because you know, you put some holes in the cheese, take that out. That substance, you know, like of, of like, if you have a whole cheese and there's holes in it, it's not complete, you know, whatever, however you do that. You know, people think they drill the holes. That's not how it works. But anyway, just think about that as a funny picture. Um, I think they're smart. I mean, they're selling cheese to a normal price and this has holes in it and people get it and buy it and they pay the money. What do they do with the extra cheese that they took out of the hole? I would say they probably sell that too put it back into the next batch of cheese, and here we go. So you make money from a cheese that has holes in it, and it's not complete, and you use that whatever is took out of the cheese to make the holes <laughs> to sell some more. That's pretty smart. So um, I don't know. That's uh, all I have to say about cheese and Swiss cheese and American cheese. So if you do a, make a burger for your holidays, uh, whatever holidays you celebrate, because, you know, there's 4th of July is coming up, but probably by the time I'm, I'm releasing this episode, <laughs> it could be, it could be August. Ah, what? I don't know. It could be another holiday. So if you do try some different cheese on your burger, try American cheddar cheese. I like American cheddar cheese. I like a lot of American cheese, by the way, just saying I'm not a snob, you know, but, but please don't just because, you know, the last thing I'm going to say about this, we had a, an event here, a, a guy's event, and we made sub sandwiches and we got all the ingredients and different cheeses. Um, and uh, for whatever reason, don't ask me why we got American, no, Swiss cheese, like a batch of Swiss sliced Swiss cheese. And everybody took the provolone. Good for them. Smart. 
Um, and I was left with the American cheese and I chest. And that, that would, I mean, that thing lasts too. I mean, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't get old or doesn't, doesn't, uh, there's, there's no mold getting on there. I don't know what's in there. Um, but nobody, none of my kids wanted to eat it. But finally, I think I had to toss it because maybe it did get too old. Um, it's not a good cheese. That's all I'm going to say. That's what I have for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. My perspective on Swiss cheese, American cheese and shake things up. Try another cheese next time on your burger or whatever you use it for. Bye-bye.